This 2001 Mercedes-Benz CL500 is absolutely stunning. We've sold this car twice now and it's got a very interesting history. Um, we sold it initially when it was only a few years old to the CEO of a major corporation who had it for a few years and serviced it at Mercedes-Benz. He traded it in on a 2009 model Mercedes-Benz CL500. We then sold it to another individual who has actually traded it in a few years later on a 2009 CL500. So all I can say is if these people are trading this car in on just a newer series CL500, they must have been pretty impressed with this vehicle. It's only done 120,000 kilometres. It's totally standard. It's got the original wheels. It has a very nice set of Pirelli tyres. Being a CL500, there weren't really any options. They just came with everything. Memory electric seats, heated seats, air-conditioned seats. It's got a rear blind. It's got a wood grain steering wheel and pneumatic suspension which is working perfectly and then on headlights you can seat four adults comfortably and is and really is from every angle so that's actually just a I might that just rubs straight off that's not gutter ash or anything just missed it when they were giving it a wipe but basically if you're looking for a CL500, I'm sure there's a couple around, but I don't think you'll find one as good and genuine as this car. I have driven it, it drives absolutely beautifully. It's quiet, powerful, there's no funny noises or squeaks or knocks in the suspension or anything. It's just a very impressive car. It's also got two remote keys to it, sounds very normal, but they do get lost over the years. The car's been garaged so the timber is excellent. We'll just start it up. Steering wheel comes down. The air conditioning's nice and cold. Turn on the air conditioned seat. And it's just a very impressive car. This may sound odd but it smells like a Mercedes should. It hasn't had a smoker in it. No one's had pets in it or anything like that. And I think these are incredible value for money. Although you can buy one of these now for about $25,000, it was a $300,000 car when it was new. And really that's the important thing. So when this was made, a lot of time and effort went into the, the build of this car. It would have had its own production line. And it comes down to little things, like see this interesting looking hinge here. So when you open the door, it actually wraps around the front of the car. Being a coupe, it does have long doors, but because of this system, what it means is that if you park close to someone, you can just pull the door out only a small amount, and you can get out without having to open it all the way out. And I'll show you from the front as well. So you can see how it actually overlaps the door there. It's a very clever system. And again, it's all those little things which they do on cars like this as opposed to a CLK 320 or a CLK 500. They've got things like soft closed doors. The air pneumatic suspension obviously is the big one. And the automatic body control. So at the click of a button, you can make the car go up about half a foot. So it's good if you've got a steep driveway. It's also self-leveling, so if you've got four adults in the car, or luggage in the back, it'll always be level. It's, it's very impressive, and it's nice that we, we know the history to the car. It's registered till March 2017. All the tools are present as well, sorry it's a bit dark in the photo, on the video I should say. 
these are our plates. Um, so it'll just come with normal premium plates. But I can't actually see any dents, scrapes, scratches, marks on this car at all. It really is very impressive. The leather is also very good, especially for a car with light grey leather interior. And I would say that like the Mercedes 560 SEC and similar, there's no reason at all why something like this shouldn't be collectible in future. And the good thing about buying something like this is you only buy it for 25 odd thousand dollars in good condition. If you keep it in good condition, it's always going to be worth good money. And it's also got quite low kilometres and people say, you know, it's done 120,000 kilometres, that's not low. Well, it is low for a car of, of this age. And the good thing about having 120,000 kilometres is that even if you have this car for three or four years, if you're doing 10 or 15,000 kilometres a year, or even 20,000 kilometres a year, it's still going to have less than 200,000 kilometres, which is always good for resale. You know, you may be able to get a cheap one with 140, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90,000 kilometres, but it's very quickly going to have over 200,000 kilometres, which means it's probably also going to have... 250,000 kilometres pretty soon and that's when the values do start to diminish. But this is a very genuine car. As I say, it's got Pirelli tyres all around. It's got the original wheels on it since new. And this is a good thing because it does have air pneumatic suspension and it can be expensive if there's an issue. It's good that it's got the standard wheels. Sometimes people put 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 inch wheels on the car and they look lovely. But unfortunately that puts unnecessary pressure on the suspension system and there's a good chance it could have an issue down the track. If you buy a brand new Range Rover and you go and put 22 inch wheels on it, it's my understanding that Range Rover will not warrant your suspension. So it's just something I thought I'd mention. I think it's important if you want to put bigger wheels on it, um, but it's also good that it has had these, the standard wheels on it. And because they are you know, a bit small, you've got a, a nice bit of tyre up here. So if you do run over a bump, whatever, it's not going to put a huge amount of pressure on the shocks and suspension components. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We are the Old Timer Centre. Our location is Marrickville. We're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. And we'd welcome the opportunity to take you for a test drive. And if you have any specific questions about this car, please don't hesitate to give us a call. You can ask for Phil. I'm Phil, and uh, I'd welcome the opportunity to answer any questions you may have. Thanks again for watching.